at the global level, we have not prioritized adaptation and resilience. So that just trickles down. About 93% of total global climate resources go to mitigation. Just about 7% goes to adaptation. And that means where Africa needs it most. That's where we have the list of the resources. And the latest report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change actually says that, look, even if we are on the trajectory to achieving 1.5 degrees Celsius, there is enough carbon dioxide locked up in the system to continue to wreak havoc in Africa over the next two decades. So it means we need to seriously at global national regional levels prioritize adaptation is not receiving the attention that it receives secondly that money it requires resources it requires an additional funding that has to be made available the international community has pledged they would provide a hundred billion dollars per annum for developing countries including those in africa and that was to have commenced 2020. This is 2022. It hasn't commenced yet. There are resources. And so what has happened is that many African countries are now having to borrow monies from banks to address issues they did not create or they did not cause. So there has to be that commitment from the international community to honor their pledges, which is even insufficient, and to make more resources available. Then thirdly, if the money is available, what do we do with it? We need to ensure, this is why this conference is here for instance, how do we create resilient projects? How do we build that resilience? What do we prioritize? You know, Do we have national adaptation strategies, for instance, or resilience strategies? If we have them, how integrated are they? We have policies on climate change in countries, and we have other national development plans, and they don't speak to each other. This is done separately for the donors to finance, and then the national development plans are made for countries to finance. And we think it is not optimal. This should be integrated together, so that when you take action and invest, you know that that investment will contribute to building a resilient economy. You don't do it uh, separately. So I think once we can get to that point, we will know that we are heading in the right direction. If Africa is not investing as it ought to, is not for the will, but you also need the knowledge. What do you want to do? What could be the potentials? What could be the added value of what it is we are doing? This is where these conferences work, because we share, we exchange ideas. We bring people together to conferences, let's talk, let's do things. It's important. Let's share ideas, let's share experiences. There's no point in reinventing the wheel. But importantly also, we know that beyond the talk, we need to walk. These conferences also lay those out, that we produce this, we don't have any issues. And this comes from conferences like this. So it's not just a talk shop, it actually showcases what works, what doesn't work and how we can push that envelope on the front ends. Okay.